Hi, this is David Bowman with Zeus of Trout Outfitters, and this is a tying instructional video on Bowman's Cased Caddis. The fly begins with a size 12 hook. Uh, I threw a nymph head bead on this one just for a little bit of weight. Um, the body is actually built from a match, and what I do is I take one side and I kind of force my fingernail into it and, and make a groove. All right, and that'll allow it to lay flat on the hook all the way to the end there and then I use a razor blade to carve just a little bit of wood away at the very end to get that tapered effect I have a finished one right here you can see the deep groove and you can see how it's carved tapered just a little bit it only takes a few hits with a little razor blade and you get that taper the case is actually wrapped in suffix 832 six pound braid um, but the braid has been colored in various locations using a black marker to get that marbled effect. If you're going to do the real colorful one, then, you know, here's, here's the rainbow color. That's just a marker, of, just markers of different colors ran up and down the suffix. Here's the black and white one, which I'm going to do right now. So I'll just tie that braid in on the back here just a few real short wraps you don't want to take up a lot of space or have a real heavy doesn't take much to get that pinned in all right I'll take a little bit of lacquer all right and just kind of put a touch on the top here where that wood's gonna sit just to help stick it in place when I'm setting it get rid of that little extra Put that on there like that put a few wraps okay get that case good and cinched down solid put a few right here on the rear you can see that's getting tighter keep wrapping okay this is extremely thin thread that I've chosen here so that it doesn't affect the square look of the wood all right so there you go that's gonna be your <clears throat> Your square shaped case you're just going to take this suffix 832 and wrap it up on that wood I'm going to do a quick knot this will help makes it a little quicker and I can use the rotary feature okay so the first one I start just a little bit inside of the wood so that doesn't you know come off the end there and then it's just wrapping one right up against the other here this all the way to the end when I get right close I try not to put one right at the edge for the same reason that I started a little bit back <clears throat> sorry I started a little bit forward in the back there just so that that dubbing here this is like a cream white My hands got a little bit of black on them, so it's transferring to the dubbing, but that's okay. I get messy. Alright, so just swing that out of the way. Pack in a little dubbing. Try to get it as close to the wood as you can. Alright, so it kind of starts looking like that caddis is just kind of bent down a little which they kind of are right where they meet their case they kind of there's a little jog there so just put a little bit more just to smooth it out all right not bad then I'm just gonna take a black saddle feather all right and get that tied in Okay, a couple wraps to cinch it down, give it a little tug, make sure, yep, go around, give yourself a little collar here, these flies have little black legs, that's about enough, you don't want it too heavy, just kind of want the hint there that there's 
some legs protruding from pull everything back here all right get that bead turned if you have to so that it's facing the right direction there you go with the eyes all right I'm just gonna take my whip finish tool here sorry let me go ahead and get rid of this feather so it's not in our way And since this is such light thread, I'm going to do two. Alright, two whip finishes. Snip this off. Now what I do is, I come up top here, I get rid of all this hackle that's on the top. So you get a nice white cream looking colored air looking like the worm coming out. And then I come down here and in the center I do the same thing. I just get rid of this hackle fiber there all right all right all said and done all right you get a pretty gnarly looking cased caddis I think it come out really good and that casing is about as good as I've been able to get anyway I don't and if you were to fish it without the bead which I kind of like a little bit more kind of goes together a little better I don't know maybe you just have to use split shot that's all do a little dead drifting all right so thanks for watching enjoy